I hope you all enjoy my journeys across five countries in Africa. As you all can see, I'm back again in my beautiful country. And anytime I'm back in my beautiful countries, I just can't stop sharing beautiful stories with you. You know what? I'm on a journey to celebrate African excellence. And if you are part of this family, then you need to help me so that more people can see such a beautiful stories so that they will also be inspired. That is why the video I'm going to share today, I'm going to force you to like the video and please do me a favor and share the video. It's very, very important. Like and share. I need to get 10,000 likes on this video. Thank you so much for liking the video and thank you so much for sharing and if you are new to the channel please do me a favor and subscribe and be part of the million family on youtube my name is watermaya and you know what the excitement on my face tells it all because i'm here to celebrate a young Ghanaian who is being creative and innovative because we all know that plastics is everywhere in ghana and this guy decided to recycle plastic into something meaningful. If I say something meaningful, I'm talking about pavement block that he used plastic to construct. Also, he's building a whole house with plastic. Have you ever seen anything like that before? I mean, it's my first time, but let me know in the comment section if that is your first time of seeing plastic being recycled into a whole house. Brothers and sisters, are you ready to see this young man? I'm more ready than you, but like the video and come with me. The most inspiring young man in Ghana. Hi, my. How are you? You're good. I mean, are you young though? I'm very young. I'm, very no. young. I'm, 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 I'm a young guy like you. <laughs> I'm not young, though. I'm an old man, man. <laughs> you know, a lot of people really? are talking about you. I was in Somalia when people started telling me that, hey, you need to go back to Ghana and talk to this guy. Bro, you're an inspiration. Thank you. You're the most creative guy in Ghana right now. Thank you. The most innovative man, no, young man in Ghana. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's good to see you. Good to see you too. Uh, my name is Maya, though. And um, can you tell me your name and where you, I mean, what do you do in Ghana? Why is it everyone is talking about you? I'm Nelson Boatin. Is this for me? It's for you, it's for you. You have this. Safety first before people yeah. come and beat me up. Yeah, you need to have this on. All right, thank you. Okay. Yeah. You know what, a lot of people are talking about you. That's why I'm here. I know you already because I did a whole research about you, but people out there don't know who you are. So tell us something about yourself. I'm Nelson Boatin. Mm -hmm. And I'm just the founder and CEO of Neoplast Eco Ghana Limited, where we see plastics to be a valuable resource and not a threat to the environment if properly managed. Whoa. I mean, you're born and raised in Ghana? Born and raised in Ghana, mm -hmm. a shaman boy. I was raised, schooled, everything in a shaman. You never left Ghana at all? I've left Ghana for some courses and some... I mean, how, how long? I mean, did you, I mean, live abroad just to get your money and come and start whatever you're doing here? No, no, I started everything fresh from Ghana. So, how did this all start? Okay, so I was working with one Chinese company at the age of 13, I was already working, which is sadly back then. But <laughs> I need that to help my parents take care of my siblings. So fortunately for me, that day I was posted to the recycling department. Okay. That is where I got my experience on working with plastics. Mm. Yeah. So from there, now you own this huge factory. Bro, I mean, you're not a magician, right? So definitely I need to know how did this all start, man? Okay, so... Uh, it, it was a family company then, mm -hmm. uh, but there was misunderstanding between the family. Okay. So they decided to sell the company around 2012. And they, they came up with the news that anybody who, who, who will be able to find a potential buyer okay. will get 5% of the total sale value. Fortunately for me, I got that deal. So the money I got, I just bring it here, set up my own factory. And then uh, I came along with the workers that lost their job to start a new factory. Your co-workers? Workers, yes. You came to this place with them? Yes. That's incredible. So most of the people here, they are my co-workers. You see why everyone is saying that you are inspiration? So let me know, yeah? I mean, definitely you use plastic to turn into what? What do you do with To paving plastic? blocks and Lego bricks for building affordable housing. Yeah. Are, are you serious? Yes, because uh, we, we want to see every ordinary Ghanaian earning between 500 to 1,000 to also own a house. That is what the company vision is. How, how much will it cost to own a house with um, 
house built with plastics. Okay, so one bedroom house, kitchen hall combined. When we do, we build to the roof, we do the doors, it's 60,000. But when you are doing all the inside finishing, it's 90,000 Ghana cities. It's affordable. Yeah. But I, I mean, I, I just want to understand, yeah? What is the inspiration behind of you using plastics to do what you do? Okay, so, uh, you know, according to the UNDP report, mm -hmm. Ghana generates about over 1 million tons of plastic waste annually. Okay. And only 5% is ever recycled. The rest land itself in the drainage, the sea, and it caused a lot of problems. Lives and properties are lost. You, 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 you can remember the June 3rd, 2015, what yeah. happened at Seke. All the problem was attributed to plastic bags manufacturers. We also have the problem of housing in Ghana. Mm -hmm. We also have problem of schools under trees in Ghana. We also have a problem of unemployment. So Nelplast is using the problem of plastic waste to solve the other three problems, thereby solving four problems at a goal. You're genius. Thank you. Has <laughs> anyone ever told you that? Uh, I've been hearing about yours is most powerful. <laughs> <You're in head. laughs> if you think he's genius, do me a favor, like the video, share the video so that the world will hear his story. You know what, before you take me to the factory, you, you have something to tell them before you take me to the factory? Oh, what, 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 what I would say is, we should see every problem as an opportunity. People are saying plastic is bad. Yes, plastic is not good. Mm -hmm. It's polluting our environment, but we, should, we, 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 we shouldn't forget that we cause the plastic to be there. Because the plastic bag manufacturers just produced and kept them in their warehouse. They gave it to the retailers. And we as end users, we, we use the plastic and just throw them on the street. When it choked the gutter and, and caused flood, then we blame the plastic. No, we should blame ourselves for not properly disposing of the plastic waste. My brother, take me to the factory. Right. Thank you. So, so this is the raw material that we're using. It's actually from Nestle Ghana Limited. They are waste. They normally crush and bring it to us at no fee oh. for it to be used in the production of the Lego bricks for affordable housing. But before Lego bricks, what were you doing before? I was doing, I was actually recycling only the Piotr Sachi into pellets. Okay. Then I would sell them to the poly bag or sh the shopping bag manufacturing uh, what do you call it manufacturing companies okay. but that very year i decided no the profit is going to them so why don't i do the shopping bag since i am all i know is about pla plastic about plastic so i brought in some machine and started doing the poly bags but during 2015 where the government was trying to put a ban on poly, poly bag manufacturing company mm -hmm. because they believe we are the cause of the flood that occurred then then we lot of lives were lost and, and, and what you call it properties i also felt bad anytime they said plastic bags is causing this problem mm -hmm. it's causing that problem so i asked myself what will i do which will be more sustainable a product that wouldn't go out there to pollute the environment anymore mm -hmm. but also to help solve the problem of plastic waste so yeah you know what i want to see how they um is it is it constructor mode how they mold the bricks oui. for the pavement our technology is sand poly extrusion because sand. we use plastics and sand together. together. And the color is just for beautification. Maybe the customer wants red, black, green, and other color. So that is it. That's what they're doing right now? Yes. Wow. We have women to among us. We, we, we train women on how to operate the machine. Uh, how many people are working for you right now? Currently, we are 64 workers working directly. We run shifts and over 300 indirect workers, and they are about 98% women. They go out there to pick the plastic from the environment, they drain anyway. Mm. And they like it so much because this time they are not going to look for one type of plastic waste. Any plastic they lay their hands on, they collect it, bring it to us, we scale and pay them according to the weight. I think the least person is getting 50 Ghana CD per day. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, which kind of plastic do you use? All kinds of plastic waste, with the exception of PVC pipes. Because the PVC pipe doesn't burn well with the sun. 
and in its production, it releases some dangerous fumes. Mm. Yeah, so we don't include. I mean, since you pay 50 cities a day, you need to employ me, man. Some, I, I, some, I are, getting, me. some are getting more than 50 cities. The least person, it depends on the quantity of plastic that you can bring to us. Oh, okay. Like, they have the. My, my collector has the capacity of taking about 20,000 kilos of plastic waste from the environment. But we, as a company, can produce only 3,000 kilos due to enough for machine to process all this plastic waste. So you got all these machines from China? No, it's only one part that is from China. That's the idolatry place. Oh, okay. Everything you see here, I build them myself. What? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Apart from this one? Apart from this, the, the idolatry place. You did everything by yourself? Yes. Are you an engineer? Like I told you, I started very young and I was following my masters. They, they, they build machines. So that, that is where I, I acquired my knowledge from. Once again, he is genius. <laughs> what? Let me know, what are they mixing together to get this red color? So this is a big shop. Plastics, all kinds of plastic way with sand and color. Okay. The color to give some beautification to the product. It will be fed into the studer. The studer has three eating zones. Why we use three things though? Because we use all kinds of plastic waste and they all have different melting points. Exactly. So as they travel through the lines, they come out as a paste. We scale them for us to have a uniform tile size. And then it, it will be placed in a mold with a cooling system around it. Mm. Then press under the hydraulic press. Mm. So between 30 seconds to 60 seconds, we eject one product. So and, and how many bricks can you produce in a day? Between 800 to 1,500, depending on the size and the shape that we are producing. That's like within 12 hours or 24 hours? 22 hours, 22. because we are one hour break. Wow. I think even after going through the cooling process, it's still hot. Yeah. Oh, wow. It takes about six hours. Six hours? Yes. And what is the weight for this? 6.5 kilos. 6.5 kilos? Yes. Because oh. we, we have heavy cars that will drive on it. If you are doing for a lighter road, then we go for four or 4.5 kilos. The heavy roads, you need so this is for the pavement blocks, eh? Yes. Oh, oh wow. So you, you get the molding, the design? Everything oh, okay. done locally, yeah. That's yeah. incredible, man. Maya? Yeah? I forgot to tell you this. Okay. You know, everything that you are seeing in there started okay. with this drum. With this drum? How? Yes. This is how we started producing the blocks. I was actually putting the plastic here, set fire beneath. When the plastic get melted, I just put my sand in it. Then I will stir it with a sh shovel or any stick that I find, I lay my hands on. But then the, the, the community were given a lot of complaints because the fume that is coming out was too much. And also the product that we get from this process mm -hmm. is very weak. Because when you bend plastic for a very long time, they lose their bonding properties. Yeah. And therefore, when it just hit the ground with a little force, it will just break. And also, the smell was very bad because you bend the plastic and the scent can stay for a very long time, for years. Whoa. So from this, we have to sit down, do a lot of research and build an extruder. Which now you are not seeing any fumes. You can walk in there without much fumes. Out. You built that machine yourself? I built it myself. The only yes. thing you see here that is outside is the hydraulic press. That's it? That is it. Your story is inspirational, man. Thank you. I really want to see the house that you built with plastics. I will take you there. Thank you, because I, I will know take that's you there. what everyone is waiting for. I will take you there. <laughs> Thank you. So Maya, uh -huh. this is the house built with plastics. 13,400 kilos of plastic waste. Built with plastic? Plastic waste. Are you kidding me? Yes. You mean this is built with the bricks that they were? That they were producing in the what factory. The so this is a house made up of plastic. 13,400 kilos of plastic waste. Mainly from agates and beaches. And the floors. They are also made up of plastic waste. Can I say you genius once again? Yeah. <laughs> and how much will this cost? This, when we build fully, 
with a roof and a door, 60,000 Ghana cities. But with the interior, everything, wiring, plumbing work, kitchen cabinet, 90,000 Ghana cities. Why are you not building for people in the country? We are. We've started taking some orders and this we started with- This is the first one? This is the first one, but we were actually selling it for people living in the swampy areas to be used as their foundation blocks. Then they can continue with their normal concrete blocks. But this is the first house How that we built. How hard it is to convince Ghanaians in general that you can build with plastic? Uh, from the beginning it was difficult, but because when I started, people were like, this won't work. But in my mind, I know everything is possible. If you push hard, everything is possible. Tell me some of the challenges that you faced when you started this. Ah, uh, the area guys were laughing at me, that this guy, is, is he crazy? How can you use plastic from the gutters? How can you build a, a whole house with this? How will you put your el electrical wires, plumbing work, the kitchen cabinet? I said, everything is possible when you push forward. Everything so is, is possible yeah. when you push forward. That's why I want to push into the room just to go and see what he has done. Sorry, yeah. It's not my room, but I'm, I'm so blown away. That's why I have to open the Go, you go, go in. Let's go. Let's go. Come in. Come in. Come in. So if I don't tell you this is plastic, you will never, never believe. We just did the interior finishing with POP and other chemicals, and the thickness is just about 0.5 mm. So very thin, just to cover the block work, because most Ghanaians don't really like the block work design. So I did that to, just to cover it. And this house is not built by a mason. Though. I built this house, I'm not a mason, with my workers every Saturday, and the area guy, student, we arrange them like Legos. Who are you, man? I'm Nelson Boatin. You, you, you build a, um, how do you call it, machine. Now you build a house. What else have you built that we don't know? <laughs> so many things. Because <laughs> where I grew up, like my grandfather, mm -hmm. he will let you do everything. Like, then we, we, there's not much money. So, mason work, we will just stand, be looking at you. Everything is here. Then we'll do it next time. Next time, we will not call you again. We'll do it by ourselves. That is how my grandfather works. What is that one quote? That keeps you moving. Wow. People bring plastic waste to me. They will tell you, because of you, I can put food on the table for my family. You can't stop. The challenge is big, but I can't stop. When you remember those things, you can't stop. The, the, the women will carry their ch children on their back. They will tell you, ah, Misika, who did man? Oh, today I can eat. When you hear those stories, you can't stop. Even if it's hard, you can't stop. I'm, 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 I'm blown away, man. You, you mean like everything here, slayed by plastic, slayed by... Yeah. We have a water. People were wondering, how would I put the, the plumbing works? I have water. I have electricity. Everything works here. Everything works perfectly here. But is, is it safe? It's safe. Because, because people are thinking it's plastic, there will be... Fumes, no. Plastic will start generating heat at a temperature of, let's say, 100 degrees Celsius. In Ghana, we've not even recorded 50 degrees Celsius. And this product is made up of 70% sand, only 30% plastic, which serves as the bonding property in the product. And there is a, a hole or groove in between the bricks, which doesn't allow the heat from outside to come in and also maintain the temperature of the room. So there's nothing like fumes. I mean, like, there's something that people don't even know, that um, fire can be quenched. With sand. With sun. If a, a, a car catches fire now and there's no fire extinguisher, the first thing that comes to our mind is go and get sun. So that is why we made the sun content more than the plastics. My brother, I have so many young Africans watching people that look just like you. If you have a message to them, what would that message be? What I would tell the youth is there is good thing in every bad situation. The bad situation here is we're talking about plastic being a problem. For me, Nelson and my company, we don't see plastic to be a problem. We humans are the problem for our improper disposal of plastic waste in the street. The plastic never flies to our beaches. We carry them there. They never fly to our drainage. We carry them there. So we need to change our attitude of disposal, see plastic not to be a problem because people talk, let's replace plastic with paper. Mm -hmm. Do you know what it takes to produce one sheet of paper? The amount of water you need, when it gets rot on the soil, the gases that you release to the soil, you have no idea. The trees that will be cut down, plastic, not because I need plastic to work, because they can't burn plastic totally. Yeah. 
we use all kinds of plastic. If you buy plastic bag, I can go in for uh, used computer cases, fridges. I can use them for anything. So me, not because I use plastic, but we should know that the plastic is better than the paper. We, uh, the problem is we need to change our attitude of disposal, period. Do you believe that it's possible in Africa? It's possible to make it in Africa or we have to go abroad before we make it? Or, we, or do you think that the youth of Africa can make it right here in Africa? You can make it. Let me tell you one short story. Mm -hmm. when, I was, when I finished this, those that came in new in the area, they say, hey, China people are now doing things. So I was in here laughing. So wow, then it's good. If they appreciate China and, and it's indirectly a Ghanaian like me, who built it, the mold, everything is by myself, designed, nothing is from outside. And this very September, I'm introducing the roofing sheet. I was supposed to do it somewhere in August, but something came up. So I'm introducing a new roofing sheet made up of plastic bed to further bring the cost down. I want to see every Ghanaian, every low income Ghanaian owning a house. That is my vision, that is what I want to achieve. The very low income Ghanaian, that is what I'm targeting, not the big ones, the low income Ghanaian. Because the real estate companies, they are building for millions. We can't afford. We, the youth, we can't afford. So this is what I want. And mind you, don't say it's plus or it's cheaper. This house will stay forever than the concrete house. It will not crack because it has the ability to expand and contract when there's earthquake. What is the lifespan? 500 years. Plastic takes 500 years to start degrading. So is the product. Because the product made it. Yes. But then we, we, uh, we are gone. If you can have somebody to come and have a look at it and tell a story. <laughs> Do you believe Africa is the future? Africa is the future. Let's believe in ourselves. Let's buy into our own product. That is how China started. You can't bring uh, bands to China like, like, like that. Then you need to pay more import duties. You need to use what you have. Improve it. And this is just the beginning. Now I've built the house, I'll stay here. Whatever I need to improve, I'll do it. Where should we see Nelson Barton in the next 10 years? Uh, you'll see Nelson Barton being one of the top recyclers in the world. That is what we want to achieve. We want to see Ghana clean of plastic, mainly by nail plastic. That is what we want to achieve. Are you getting support from um, the government or the Ghanaians in general? Uh, for government, I have the Minister of Works and Housing visiting us some few weeks ago. He has given his promise because he was saying the government is embarking on affordable housing. So he will, he will, he will push our product to that project because he believes we are doing 70% locally made material. So he will, he will ensure that our, our material is being used for such projects. And, um how many floors can you go? For now, we can go one floor. All that I need to do is to redesign the corner mode to make it bigger, to receive more concrete and iron rod, to carry so two, three, four, four. Um, iron rods? In the, in the, in the corners. Okay. We can do, we can extrude the bigger beams, but lack of finance, I can't do that research, I can't build that machine now because it's very expensive doing one mode. One mode cost me over 70,000 Ghana cities. And this house, I tried more than seven times. So I've spent a lot of money to get to this. You, you tried more than seven times? To get it right. That is why we can go in, there is no aircon, but the room still feels cold. It's a different technology altogether. That is why you can stick a ceramic tile on a plastic wall. It's a different technology altogether. We've done a lot of research, a lot of money has gone into this. And I'm somebody, I won't stop until I get it right. I sell my house, sell my cars, until I get it right, I won't stop. That is my character. If you had a chance to change one thing in Africa, what will you change? Our mindset. Our mindset is the problem. We see goods coming from abroad to be better than what we have here. That is why we are still suffering. Even if you see and you think it's not good, stay there, be there, improve it. It, 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 it will surely get better. If I would have stopped this, you wouldn't see the, this thing here. If I've listened to what people are saying, they are laughing at me. What, what are, why are, are you crazy? You pick plastic from the gutter, you want to build a house. No, this is the house. Like I said, me, Nelson, I won't stop until I get it right. That is me. I want to say thank you so much for talking to me, but are you selling now? This house I'm not selling. This is my showroom, my office, my residence. But now we are building for people. People are placed order, we are building for people.
I just want to say thank you so much for talking to me and I wish you all the best and I will also love you to build one for me so I will when would that be very soon <laughs> and, 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 it, and I'll, I'll, I'm serious about it I'll give you a very big discount thank you so much you're welcome thank you so much